Hey guys, a uh, quick tip here for those of you who like to layer your melodies. Uh, what I mean by that is you've got a bunch of different uh, sounds that are playing the same melody or the same MIDI part. All right. So what I've got here is something that sounds like this. All right, so great. So uh, we've got all these separate parts that are layering to make this this sound. So you know everything's EQ'd a little differently and uh, processed a little differently as well. So we've got a little noise there. All right, so we've got all these sounds that are uh, layering together and they're all using the same lead part. Now, some of the sounds are pitched up an octave, right? So it's using the same MIDI part, but I use the MIDI tool here in Ableton, just a plus 12 on a couple of the tracks. Uh, that track, and I think this one here, yeah. So three tracks, all using the same melody, but just an octave higher, all right? So instead of making these notes an octave higher, it's easier to just pull in this thing. So that way, all of these are using the same MIDI part. Now the issue that comes up, or at least something that takes a lot of extra time, is if you decide you wanna change or add a note to uh, your melody, you've got to add it to all of your parts, which means you know it takes six times more time for you to, to get that done. And that becomes kind of a pain in the ass as you're going through a whole song and want these little changes in your melodic part. So there's a trick that you can use where you can take all of the layers and have one MIDI part command all of the other layers so uh, you don't need to use all separate MIDI parts. So let me show you how that's done. I'm gonna take all these. We're gonna use this one here as the master MIDI and all these other ones we're just gonna um, take, we're gonna highlight these and I'm gonna turn it off by just hitting zero. So now they're all deactivated. So now we're only getting this one sound here. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here where it says all ins, and we're gonna highlight all of these other tracks. And then we're gonna choose our track 21, which is the Electric Screamer lead. So now we've chosen that for all of these. And now all we have to do is simply uh, change from auto to in. And now all these parts are gonna play the, the instruments that are on each of the tracks, but it's gonna be using the MIDI from just one track. So that way when you change uh, one MIDI track, one MIDI part, it will affect all the other layers, all right? So now as you can hear, we've got all of our layers back. All right, and now what we can do is we could switch up some of the notes. So maybe we want. Right. So now that one change, instead of having to copy and paste it to all the other layers, you just uh, add it to the master and then all the other ones will follow suit. So I hope that tip helps you guys and speeds up your music production process. Take care and I'll talk to you guys real soon.